Hebrews 12, 27. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken, as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Have you ever been in an earthquake? I have. The sensation of the normally solid ground moving underneath your feet can be rather unsettling. When the epicenter is a distance, the ground tends to roll, while closer to the epicenter, it tends to buck and jolt. In their least destructive forms, earthquakes can cause dishes and books to come crashing down. While at their most powerful, the destruction is literally earth shattering. There are also times just prior to the earthquake when an eerie silence rests upon the birds and animals become restless and jittery. Paul here tells the audience of Hebrews and us about a shaking coming which will rock the world to its core. Unlike a normal earthquake, this one has spiritual implications. People's beliefs will be shaken, and those still attached to sin will be utterly desolated. The shaking is so great, one could ask who will be able to survive. Like in a real earthquake, there are things which remain immovable. Those who are connected by faith to Jesus Christ will find they cannot be shaken. Through the smaller earthquakes of life, this group of people has learned to endure. Now full of the Holy Spirit, sin has been replaced with Jesus. Like the birds and animals, they know the tremors are about to begin, and when the shaking stops, will stand gloriously in the New Jerusalem, shaken but not stirred. In these unsettling times, may our faith in the Lord remain firm. Maranatha.